Welcome back to this new Pizza Raid tutorial. Today we want to create this epic scene in a couple of minutes. Let's jump right in. Okay, here we are on a fresh blunder scene. Today we want to use this cube, so let's hide this one and let's bring in our first asset, which is an FBX. So let's go here into our folder and bring uh, this one in here. As we can see, this one is not in the right position so let's rotate this to minus 90 in the x I want to bring this to zero here and let's scale this one uh, here up i want to go in the z value to 20 so uh, let's make this here really quick uh, something like this is okay yeah, now let's go ahead and bring this one the z value to 9.9 let's go ahead with a new plane which is four and we want to bring this here to 100 by 50 and the last thing which we need is in our cube so let's bring this one back select this one i want to go here with two by 70 by four and now we can add here a new modifier and bring an array modifier in i want to change the factor now to 0.9 by 0 by 1 and i want to increase the count to 35 and let's change this now here to 21.4 by 21.8 by 1.6 and let's rotate this now to 36 in the z yeah that's our our kind of wall which are creating a little bit more depth here for the scene and we want to have this one on the left side as well so let's press shift and d to duplicate this one and i want to bring this now to the minus value and change the z value to minus 116. okay and the last thing which we need here is today of course a human so yeah let's bring this one in here a new position so let's go here with minus one by minus 17.8 and of course everything is zero here and now let's bring in here the second window um to see what we are doing i want to change the render engine now to cycles and of course the device to gpu compute Let's go on the left side to rendering. Yeah, I want to bring in here now some materials. So let's go to the shade editor back. I want to select here the right stairs now. And yeah, let's uh, rename this material here to concrete. I want to use here now the Node Wrangler plugin. If you don't have this enabled, let's go to preferences and search for Wrangler and enable this one. Now let's select the principal BSDF and add a, a principal setup, concrete 28. Let's go with the color, the displacement, the concrete, normal GL and the roughness. And now we can see this one is a little dark. So let's change this here on the left and the right side to material preview. Let's go here down again to the shading and i want to change this now here from uv to object and we want to change here the rotation a little bit so let's go with uh, the y to 2.9 and this looks a little bit better for me a little bit of a detail is now to add here curve to change the color a little bit down because i want to have a little bit more darker concrete so let's bring in this down here make this a little bit more wet we can go ahead here now and search for a ramp bring this one here inside and change the slider a little bit to the center now we can see that the concrete looks a little bit more wet here you bring the slider black slider more to the right you can see that uh, getting more reflective here i want to use something like this here and I want to increase now the normal map to 2. And now we are done. We can see that uh, the same material is on the life left side as well. And now let's collect here our floor. I want to bring this concrete here to the floor as well. But as we can see, this one is a little bit too big for me. So I want to duplicate this here and change here the scale in the X and Y to 4. 
And now we can select here our statue, add a new material, and I want to bring in here now the two materials from this one. First is the color channel and the second one is the normal map. Now let's pipe the color into the base. And I want to bring this color here to a normal, normal map and to the color and bring this one here, this normal. And I want to bring down the strength a little bit down to point six. Yeah, for um, the color channel here, I want to use a curve again. So let's pipe this one in between and I want to bring this curve uh, down as well. So it's a little bit darker. That's okay. And for um, yeah, some metallic look, I want to bring in here the metallic to one. And I think now it's time to change the camera angle now. So let's press zero on the numpad, select our camera. Let's go here now with 4.7 by minus 26.7 by 0.6 by 112 by zero by zero. The focal length of the camera is a little bit too high, so let's go into the camera settings and I want to change this now to 19. And we can increase the clip end to 500. So we're having the full stairs here in the background. Maybe let's go here to the viewport display and change the passport to, to 1. And yeah, that's looking better. Maybe I increase here a little bit the light we can see a little bit more what is going on now we want to bring in the fog so let's go ahead with a new cube and this one goes 75 in every dimension let's make a new material and delete this one let's search for a volumetric scatter bring this one inside here and now we want to change the density down to 0.15 by 0.63. And I want to have a little bit more detail here in the fog. To do this, we need a noise texture. Bring this one into a ramp and to a color ramp and bring this color here now into this color. <laughs> and let's change the black slider down here so we can a little bit more see what's going on and have a little bit more contrast here let's change the scale now to 22 and let's go with 8.5 by 0.83 and the distortion is zero that's okay and now we can change the position of our light first i want to change this now to a new color so let's select this one and i want to change the hex code now to this one let's change the radius down to zero and now let's bring this to minus 5.6 by 18 by 42.4 and one thing is missing that's the intensity or the power of our light let's go ahead now with 25,000. and now we're having here this beautiful light which are lighting up here our character and we can see that we have to change the background here of our environment. So let's go here into this one and change this to black. Now we can go ahead here with uh, some neon circles. So let's create a new curve and I want to use here the cycle. Let's change this one here now to 20 by 20. We want to go into the data tab and change the resolution in the preview and in the render to 64 by 64 and let's go down here to the geometry and change the depth of the bevel to 0.002 now let's bring this one to 0.57 by 0 by 13 by 18 by minus 32. we can add here a new material for this one i want to use here in the emission this purple color and increase this to 150 yeah you can leave this when you want to have a constant circle here for me i want to have a little bit more detail so i searched here for a mosgrave texture bring this one into a color ramp 
for the contrast and bring this one into the alpha channel. Let's change the black slider as always a little bit up. And now we can play here with the scale. So let's go with 10 by 5, the zero dimension, and 9 in the lucinarity. I want to duplicate this one to 0 by 0 by 6.3 by 26 and 17. So this one is the neon. A and let's duplicate this one here to B and change this one now to something like this. And by the way, if you want to change, I want to change here the viewport noise threshold to point oh one. Okay, and if you need some more detail here for the statue, we can add here easily another light. So let's go ahead with the new area light. And this one is on the position 0 by 0.03 by 26.4. This is right above here the head. I want to use the same color here for uh, the same bluish color here. I want to increase this to 2500. As you can see, the light is uh, yeah, volumetric. <laughs> But we want we just want to lit here the statue so let's go here into the settings and to visibility and change this one uh, this volume scatter here off we can see that we are just lightening our statue let's go ahead here and change the size here to 10 and now we are, can see the face of the statue let's duplicate this one again and i want to bring this now to 13 by minus 2.5 by 15.6 by 90 by 0 by 90 now we're having the slide here from the right duplicate this one again shift and d minus 13 and rotate this in the z value to 217 and now we can see the whole details of our statue yeah for the last part i want to go here on the right and change the color management in the look to a very high contrast for the final rendering i switched the denoise off and changed the maximum samples to 3000 that was this tutorial and if you like my stuff check out and subscribe to my channel if you want to support me check out my gumroad or blender market page see you there and bye